very nice. Why did I turn into a boar out at the end of that? Cut the muffler off. Ha! <laughs> oh, also fixed the sway bar already. It pushed one bushing out. It was the driver's side. That's why I got the wheel off there. Plus, I was looking at the excellent tread that's left on these tires. These things are bolder than your mother's voice. I digress. Um, I think I asked you guys in the last video, do you think this is a junkyard motor? I'm thinking more and more. It, it this motor was replaced. I, I've already had it on the lift and looked it all over and stuff. I know. You guys are mad because I didn't didn't bring you guys with me. It's okay. You'll get over it, okay? This is life. Anyways, this thing is really clean underneath, especially for the mileage. And uh, so I got to finish welding this up. This was just a cobble together exhaust. You cut the flange off the muffler. And this thing... I'm gonna start it for you after I get it finished. Yes, I'm gonna cut that off, okay? Just so you know. We might put a tip on it, I don't know yet. But anyways, um, the only downside is the under tray is, is pretty mangled up up there. The only thing that got bent, and this is typical on these when you get them from the auction, the forks hit on these arms and I straightened them back out. This was bent in and so was the other side, just about identical. And I just straighten them with an adjustable wrench, and uh, they look good. These are re really flimsy. They're like a trailing arm. Besides that, I mean, look underneath this thing. Look at the transmission. Like 183,000 miles, 184,000 miles, really. I haven't got the tray off yet. Look at this motor. Look at how clean. I mean, you're looking at heat shields on the exhaust, so. Uh, they they look good, but just the block itself and the valve cover gaskets that's been replaced I can tell look at this side That that motor is so clean so clean. I do, I do not believe at all that this thing has the mileage that the odometer says and like I said, we're broken around that hole broken around that hole cracked Honestly, we priced them and it's not worth it. So we're probably going to be doing some hot staples in this thing when I get it down out and patching it together the best that I can. There's a whole chunk of it missing right right here. Comes back and attaches right here and right here. As you can see, the still stuff there, but this whole chunk is missing. But it's nice to have an under tray on. It, it honestly does help with your gas mileage and uh, it also keeps your engine clean. So, I mean, yes, that's what I said. The engine's clean and that's one of the reasons why. Uh, brand new brake pads. I didn't check the back ones. I checked the front ones. They're all, they're like brand new. Um, it looks dusty in there. Let me see. Let's get on this one. The rotors are not brand new, but they're not bad. Normally when they're old, Behind the wheels where you're gonna see, like you'll see a lot more rust here behind the wheel. This stuff, this happens around here, driving in the winter time. But there, you can see the part number on the pad still. So that tells you they're pr pretty new. And then looking inside of here, there you go. So much pad left, so much pad. You can look through here, lots of pad left can't tell in the back uh, but that I don't think they're bad I can't really tell unless I pull a wheel anyways let's uh, get this thing off now weld it up so you guys can hear what it what it sounds like I've still got to get an answer from him whether he wants a straight cut or a slash cut on this so we're waiting on that but maybe I'll just leave it like it is <laughs> give it to him like that
All right. Ceramic paint coated. Well, it has ceramic in it. I don't know if it's actually ceramic paint. Whatever. It's high heat paint. I wanted to make sure this wasn't going to rust and look like crap in a short period of time. So I went ahead and put that paint on it. Um, painted the whole thing so then it's kind of uniform looking too. Doesn't look like, uh, you know, I, well, okay. It does look like I just pieced a bunch of pipe together. You know what? It don't matter. It's all right. So, <laughs> The, the original gasket still in there. I was going to clean that flange up, and I started cleaning it up, and I was like, no, I don't want to mess that gasket up with a wire wheel and then it not seal. So I didn't clean that surface that much. So I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and, and dry up. I just ran uh, some map gas on it, kind of like ran it through the tube on each end to warm it up, hopefully help... Uh, you know dry that paint and then uh i'll check the hangers here in a little bit we'll throw it up on and i'll get you your first exhaust clip i will tell you a muffler delete on one of these actually sounds nice nice it's not too loud and it's it just gives it a little bit more bass and it gives it the boxer sound so and and my brother likes that so i was like he told me I took the muffler off and I said it doesn't sound bad and he was like I don't know I gotta I gotta hear it in person I said honestly it's pretty good and he was like well don't cut the muffler up just in case and I was like too late <laughs> all right I went inside fed the kitties I was in there for a little bit oh that's dry to the touch all right feels good too so let's uh throw that on and see what it looks and sounds like that's that bad I don't I don't think it's too loud I think it's just right especially at idle which is quiet as can be you can't rev it above four grand so I, I tried putting it in gear but being that it's not on the ground it it didn't like that so still can't really yeah can't really rev it up unless you drive it but yeah it's that's pretty nice especially for a $19 piece of pipe an eight dollar piece of steel rod and then a little bit of welding and a little bit of paint yeah we're about 30 bucks in right here maybe 40 bucks if you include the paint it's pretty nice and he might get a, a tip to put on there too i don't know yet all right so by next video this exhaust will be complete i wanted to get everything on there and then order a tip for it afterwards i am going to have to chop this back but I ordered a tip that's four inches. So right now that's two inches. So double that size. I wanted to make sure it fit the hole right. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, put that right two inch in the center. So you can see the four inch mark. That should fill that up pretty nice. Yeah, that should fill it up really nice. I'll have to take it back off again to get it welded up right. But, uh, I think I got that center. I, I eyeballed that. And I mean, uh, do you think I could have got it any straighter? Any more centered? That's pretty dang close. I ought to start selling these. Look at that. Custom. See, now if I was selling these, these welds look horrible. You get what you pay for. That's what, that's what you get. All right, I got to hit on a set of wheels that are really close to me. So I'm actually going to just take some time and go look at those. Tires aren't. The exact same size are a little bit smaller but they're close close enough that you could run them 
I'd be your sp speed armor would be a couple mile per hour off, but they're also winter tread. So if I do get these wheels, I think what we're gonna do is just list them for sale online, keep them on the tire or on the wheels. Then if they sell, we'll buy brand new tires to put on the wheels. If they don't sell, we'll just run them. So that's what we're trying to do right now. All right, so let's hit the road. Well, that was a no-go. They're the wrong bolt pattern. I was suspicious. He had them listed as a five by 114.3, and he had them on a 2014 Legacy, which was had me hit iffy, because in 14, when you look them up on certain sites, they're a five by 100, and that's what they ended up being, a five by 100. I have a hit on another set of wheels. It's a longer drive. A set of WRX wheels. I questioned the guy because I want to see what year the WRX they came off of. I'm not sure if that matters, the bolt pattern or not. But I have my calipers on me, so I know what the hub size is, the hub bore center, and I know what the bolt pattern is, so I can check that. All right, so you have to watch out on WRX wheels too because they're not all 5x114.3. That set that I messaged the guy about, they were 5x100, and I looked it up in, I think, 07 to 2014, were all five by 100. I did just get a hit on a set of wheels, no tires, 17 inch. They look like they're really nice wheels for 200 bucks. Guy said 250. I said, unless I can get them for 200, it's not worth my time. It's, it's about an hour and a half, almost two hour drive. But he is messaging me as soon as he gets the hub center, the bore size, and I know that they'll fit or at least work with um, hub-centric rings, then uh, I might be hitting the road again. But I gotta go feed the kitties. You know, you don't wanna neglect your kitties. Well, they'll all fit in the Lexus. I did some measurements, so Lexus it is. I'd rather road trip this in my truck right now anyways. This gets way better gas mileage, surprisingly. I wanna add, I fixed the sub in this. It sounds 10 times better main problem was it's faced forward which I didn't do anything with that and it's bolted to the back of the seat which the seat don't fold it doesn't fold down anyway so it's you're not hurting anything there but it's bolted to the back of the seat and it's faced forward and then they have there's like a ski door there if you want to put skis in that's about the only thing you can fit through there uh, which is kind of useless for me but they have that door open and it's on top that's not affecting anything. It's just the fact that they have it facing forward. Normally when you put a sub in the trunk, you wanna face it backwards so it echoes and makes it sound better. It always sounded distorted if I turned it up. It just wasn't that great. Well, back on the sub, it's a Rockford Fosgate and it has, it has a built-in sub in the box. And they had an invert button on there so that it hits backwards instead of hitting forward. Watch out, vehicle on shoulder. Oh no, all I had to do is flip that switch so it's inverted and it, it sounds way better now no distortion the base is clear it's exactly what i wanted without having to do anything so no kids tune your subs okay play with the settings a little bit just sit there and play with it you know what i mean you ever just sit there and play with it? I got them and all I gotta say is they're extremely clean I was he wanted he had them down to 290 and uh, shoot he had I gotta go back I think he had lugs and stuff yeah I'll, I'm gonna go back I'll, <laughs> I'll get back with you all right so like I said the wheels are perfect the kid does detailing so they're extremely clean which is a good thing because I had to set it Set them in the back seat. Look, look at them things. I'll, sh I'll show you what they look like better when I get to the house. But on top of getting these, at the same time I'm picking these up, my brother, he's been helping me since this is going to be his car. Um, I found a set of tires uh, that are the stock size that fit that car. And they're 17 inch for 75 bucks. So he went and got those the same time I got these. So now we got 
inspectable tires with brand new wheels that are gonna fit and uh, he even gave me hub centric rings and I gotta measure them because they might they look like they might actually be the exact ones we need which makes it even better because then I don't have to buy anything else but he gave me the lugs too the lugs are I believe too small the, the lug nuts are for a smaller lug but uh, we'll see if I mean, even if all they are the original lugs will fit from what the, the the pattern the acorn nut or whatever that is from the pattern of it the, the original ones will fit all right so the the lugs and the hub centric rings are wrong they're uh, 66 mil to looks like an 80 mil so they're gonna be the wrong ones I need a 56 to an 80 mil so we'll just have to buy hub centric rings it's really no big deal but you're doing wheels make sure you get your rings on there or you get a wheel that has the right hub size this is a beautiful area where he lives like half the houses look like castles like I just passed two of them and it's up on a mountain and it's fall season and I was like man I could it's a it's nice and the roads are awesome here's an old church look at this brought me in through the nice neighborhoods and it's taken me out through the ghetto. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's all I got time for. But the offset on that is perfect. It's the wheels are turned a little bit, so it's sticking out in the front, but it's in in the back because I don't have the wheel straight. Hold on, right, the wheel straight now. Look at this; it doesn't st stick out at all. It's like perfect. Those are nice looking wheels. So although not new, these are the tires we got. Two of them have more tread than the other ones. Uh, this one tire makes noises. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that tire and the one that I mounted are like new. So being that these are front wheel biased, um, they, the front wheels pull and then when they need traction, then the back tires kick in. We'll put the better tires on the front and the ones that are down a little bit more on the back. So you can you can tell that by it looks like they haven't rotated the tires in a while. If you look at the back tires that are currently on it, they have a little bit of tread left. If you look at the front ones, no tread left. That's the wear bars right there. We're right down to them. And on the inside, it's actually bald. So it, it probably needs an alignment, possibly. I did throw a little bit of tire shine on that. But yeah, th that wheel looks 10 times better. And I don't know if these have uh, sensors in it, so we might have to dismount that to 
check to see if there's a sensor or not in here. I don't know. Um, but that's something we can do down the road. I, I'm not mounting them all right now. I don't have time. I, I was going to back this up and start pulling on it, but it, it, that was a longer drive than I anticipated to get wheels. I, I wasn't planning on driving that far today. That was a two hour drive, one direction. So four hours of my day was driving to get these wheels, but reward well worth it. So we got to get hub centric rings, which is nothing. And then, uh, these will be really good to, to mount up and the tires that was that's a deal we're gonna just get brand new tires for this and then try to find one hubcap that's missing and uh junkyards had them but you got to pay like just as much for the hubcap to ship it uh you can get a set of four for like 80 bucks you don't really like hubcaps and brand new tires was going to cost 300 dollars. the ones i had picked out so we got wheels and tires for 275 bucks yeah we're making deals here anyways if you heard that noise that tire made that's a warning sign that uh something's about to occur so i gotta get moving if you like this video smash that like button consider subscribing hit that dislike button if your mom wants to come assist me in the bathroom and we'll see you on the next episode of on rats did you poopy today Sully? oh my stretch it out what are you doing what's up hammer fist what are you doing? Did you miss me today? Hmm? Did you miss me today? Oh, he said no, don't touch me. Did you miss me? Did you miss me today, Soli? Why don't either one of you want me to pet you? Let me pet you! Oh, don't beat your brother. Hey! Stu Bean, they're bad. They're bad boys. You're a good boy, aren't you? Huh? Good boy. Yo, mommy's seat. What are you doing? What are you doing? The woman of the house has been gone all weekend on a uh, health summit trip. So the other woman in the house has been taking the seat. You're not supposed to be on mommy's seat. Don't you even do it. He's like, I want to pick on her. He likes to pick on her. She hates him. Don't do it. I see that ornery face. Do you want to say bye bye? Stella? Do you want to say bye bye? Say bye bye. I guess that's it. That's bye bye.